It's really easy not to go do things. It's so much easier not to go do things than to do them. That you would do anything is totally remarkable. Percentage-wise, it's 100% easier not to do things than to do them. And so much fun not to do them, especially when you are supposed to do them. In terms of like instant relief, canceling plans is like eating ice cream. It's an amazing feeling, such instant joy. But kids don't like that. Kids always want to do stuff. Kids get angry. They go, oh, we didn't get to do anything all day. But you ever ask an adult what they did over the weekend? And they say they didn't do anything? Their faces light up. It'll be like, what'd you do this weekend? I, uh, um, I did absolutely nothing. Did we do anything? No, nope. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Look what I have for you. There you go. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I need this. Why? <laughs> okay, I've got like four hours of sleep last night and I have no idea why I couldn't fall asleep. I couldn't stay asleep. At three o'clock, I just got up. And I'm pretty goofy right now. <laughs> so let's have coffee together and let's chit chat, right? You know, they say, if you get less than six hours of sleep, it's almost as if you're drunk. <laughs> so you got kind of a tipsy person here. But here's what I want to, I want to talk about a few things. Uh-oh, it's going to be a long one, right? Your phone has a name. It does. What is the name of your phone? What is the name of your network? It could be Starlink. It could be your router at home. It could be your phone, but it has a name. And it's whatever name you give it. So if you're going to give your phone, especially your phone or your network while you're out and about traveling or parking alone, which you shouldn't do anyways, out in the boondocks, if somebody goes by, drives by, is near you and they look up to see and you got your hotspot on, which a lot of you are going to have, you're going to be maybe using your hotspot for your iPad, your laptop, something like that. So if somebody's going by and they look up their Wi-Fi, who they can connect to, or they just want to check who's around and you're using your real name or even a real sissy name <laughs> um, and they have bad intentions and you're the only one around, they're gonna know that's you. So if you're using your real name, um, Susie Q or whatever your real name is, your, your name, the one that you go by, oh yeah. If they have bad intentions, they're gonna be coming at you. Now, what would they do? What would they say? Well, they might come up and uh, knock on your door, or knock on your window and say your name. Is Susie Q, are you in there? And you're like, yeah. You know, if you're in an RV, and the reason I'm mentioning this, because this seems to be all over the internet right now, and I thought, you know, hey, let's talk about this, because I think it is relevant. So one person actually reenacted, well, somebody knocked on the door of the RV, and they said, somebody said that... Um, you were in trouble. We were here to do a wellness check and they actually used her real name. And she was like, well, how would they know that? Did they look up my um, license plate or something? Well, they said, well, we just need to see you. She goes, I'm okay. Well, no, we need to see you. And so she, and she it was a reenact. She opened the door and, ah, you know, they grabbed her. Okay, so, well, that could happen but if you're out parked totally alone anyways 
and you, the, if they're there and the moment you walk out because you can't just stay in your RV all the time, they're going to grab you anyways, right? So here's here's the real lesson that I have on that is don't don't go alone. I mean, if you want to, yeah, but just know that they could be out walking around just waiting for you because at some point you got to go out. <laughs> at some point you got to leave your van. Bam. Um, but so I think one of the main things is don't travel alone. Anybody. I, I That goes for guys too. So let's deal with the name. What is the name of your phone? What is the name of your Starlink? Now in a home, unless you're, if you're way out and nobody else is around and somebody's driving around, they could look up and go, oh, let's, um, I'm going to hook to Wi-Fi. And, and one comes up, that would be that person who lives in that house. Please don't use your real name because they could knock on the door and do the same thing, right? Okay, so how are you going to change? Everybody wants to check. What's, oh, 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 what's the name of my phone? Well, I know how to do it on an iPhone because I'm an iPhone girl. I'm an Apple person. <laughs> Take a bite of that Apple. Remember that one, um, he knocks on the window and he goes, you, and they all look at him, they go, you like apples? And they go, yeah. And they go, and he shows them that number he got the good number. He goes, I got her number. How do you like them apples? Well, how do you like these apples? I like them a lot, right? Okay, so I want you to go to settings. Go to settings. Oh, but don't don't go to settings yet. Uh, you're watching my video. <laughs> don't go, don't go, come back. Go to settings and then go to general. I'll leave it on here what to do. Then you go to general. Okay. Then way at the top, it says about. Click on that. Right at the top, it says name. There you go. So you can name your phone anything you want. You could name it Jeffrey Dahmer. Maybe they wouldn't bother you. <laughs> Guys, please don't name your phones like you do your cars and give us some sissy name, you know? <laughs> they make them knocking at your door looking for you, okay? Um, you might want to name it uh, like Bruno <laughs> or uh, ape, ape shit or something, you know? Yeah. I actually renamed mine and I put WTF with an, ex <laughs> with an exclamation. Yeah. That's what I named my phone. And I named my other phone too. So, yeah, that's what that's all about. So, but here's the real thing I want to talk about. And by the way, sorry, I'm kind of naked today. It's hot. Summer, well, summer like back east. Is, is now here in Southern Arizona. It's hot. I got my fan on low so you can hear me a little bit, but seriously, um, it's warm. Very, very warm. Yeah. Okay. Back, back to this. <laughs> I, I could drift off. I've only had, uh, maybe four and I don't know why. Um, I really could not stay asleep either. So I don't even know how. I don't think I really got a good night's sleep last night. Tonight I'll probably sleep okay. Okay, so I don't think anybody should be traveling alone right now. I really don't. Um, if you're a city dweller like I am, <laughs> I'm an urban nestler. Um, I nestle in with the locals. Um, sort of a day tripper without the drugs, right? Well, but if you're going to be out boondocking, I don't think you should do it alone unless there's some other people around too, you know, like if you're out in courtside at High Jolly, there's still people out there, your LTVAs, you know, you're okay. But if you're going to go way out all by yourself, well, if I was alone, it doesn't matter what my Wi-Fi would be, right? If I, and they don't have to, you know, call my name, I might have these bins out out and I would have my door open so I can get air and I'm just enjoying looking at the mountains and the cacti and everything. I mean, they could just, you know, sort of like sneak up and all of a sudden there you are and you don't have anybody around to help you. So I'm thinking it's better if you're going to be doing that, get a buddy, get another 
um, gal or get a fella that, you know, you can click with and you can travel with. I think that's best. You know, times are changing. Times, as uh, Bob Dylan's on, times, they are a change. <laughs> Okay, never. I won't even try to sing. I actually do have a better voice, but I wasn't prepared. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, don't travel alone. I, I want to I want to relay something that happened to me. Okay, let me see if I can describe this well. Maybe I should draw it. I could draw it. Okay, let me do it this way. Okay, when I was back in Ohio, <laughs> let me tell you a story. When I was back in Ohio, and this actually, I'll never forget this. Nothing happened, but I know something was about to happen. Like you just have that hunch. Something's about, something, something could have went down. I averted it, but something, they had bad intentions. You just, like the, the hair on the back of your neck goes up. Yeah, the spidey, the spidey sense. It was a one of those, um, Cincinnati has these, um, or Hamilton County has these great parks. Well, I was at this great park. It was um, way up north of, of Hamilton County. And I was at the big park. Well, there was this one way off the park area where the main area was right there, right? Playgrounds and stuff. But over here, I kept saying this is a long drive. So I said, well, you know, I'm feeling adventurous. I'm all alone. But. I thought, well, what could go wrong, right? I want to go see it. Very narrow road. And plus it was in the spring where the dirt is real wet in Ohio. So I was going down and way out in the middle of nowhere. There wasn't anybody around. And I was going around the drive, right? And I came to here and they have little, like where cars would um, like go in, right? Hopefully you can see this. I'll, I'll kind of blow this up. But, and so there were these things. Well, there was one here and there was one here. So I'm driving here. I see a car here and I see a car here. So what was happening is as I passed him, he started to back up. And as I started to go, he started to go forward. Well, my sense said, oh shit. <laughs> uh, if he pulls there and it's such a small road and he pulls here, I'm trapped right there. So I sped up and I got past. My heart was beating pretty fast. And then I looked back and he was pulled, pulled in. They were probably going to rape me or who knows what they were going to do. There was nobody else around. So girls, it really made me think, don't, I've always been one of these people that, um, I don't like to just go off by myself. Maybe call me Say I'm not adventurous. I don't really care. But I'm alive. You know, and as a female, yeah. And as I was thinking about it, they may have seen me go around. They could see me at this point before I went around the loop and they were just waiting. Or maybe they were waiting for, a, a, they could see it was a female. And I was alone. And uh, no, no, um. I'll tell you, he has saved me so many times. I'm telling you. Uh, oh, my goodness. So I don't think so. There's a scenario. Who would have thought that that would be a scenario? Would you, Did you ever like contemplate something like that? Uh, probably not. I just don't think it's a good idea to travel alone. My voice is a little cracky. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I there was a couple other things I wanted to talk about, and um, one of you had a question. Oh, when I was talking about I nestle in, okay, in the city. Well, one of you asked if, who was it? Did I put you down? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't write your name down. Um, you said, well, when you're hanging out in the city, you're nestling in the city, Lee, um, does your battery drain on you? Well, 
maybe you misconstrued what I mean by nestle in. When I say nestle in the city, that means I just become one of the locals. But I'm driving my car all the time. I mean, I'm driving my car probably as much or sometimes less than the locals. Like I go here and I go there and then I stop and I park for the day, go to the park and then I go somewhere where I know that I can park at night. So no, I'm constantly replenishing my battery. Now here's the thing. Actually, the thing you should be at, who you should be asking that question to are the boondockers because they go out and they park for 14 days, sometimes really not leaving their area. They brought in all their supplies and they don't need um, ooh, coffee burps already. Wow. <laughs> well, let's get another one going, right? Mm. Really is good. I, I really need that. Oh, is that blue on? Should we go with another color? Pink. Okay, was there anything else? Yeah, change your hotspot name. Definitely. Somebody asked me what I miss the most about a house. <laughs> what do I miss? Well, you'd probably think she misses that sink. Um, well, it's sort of like that. I miss the bathtub. I used to soak a lot in the bathtub. And in the summer, because I didn't have a pool, I would in the morning fill up my bathtub. And I would go in there and immerse in it every once in a while. Of course, by then it was ice cold. Believe it or not, it was ice cold. But I did, but come out, I was good for about the next two hours. Just dunk my hair and all. So yeah, um, I miss the bathtub. And in the in the winter, I used to soak quite a bit, quite a bit. Well, what else do I got to chat about? Um, when I came to the park this morning, oh my gosh, there were some tents up. I people are staying at the park. They really are. I would. I I don't want to. You're not supposed to, and I don't want to. I don't want to stay where I'm not supposed to because why would I want to get the knock at night? You know, some of you ask me, have I, how often have I had the police knock on my window in the night? I've never had the police knock on my window. I've had a, um, I had a security guard knock once. Oh yeah. Um, another thing too is <laughs> I saw this one headline. They just keep knocking on my window. They wouldn't stop. Well, I'll tell you a story about that with me. When I was in Tucson and I first started out, I had not left for Ohio yet, but I remember I was oh, just about to, and I was kind of tired trying to get everything ready. I had a little storage at the time and I was trying to work that. That was a lot of work because I had to lift a lot of stuff all by myself, heavy stuff. So, um, and I remember it was like the day before and I just wanted to just rest, but I needed to find shade. Well, where I was near where I was staying, kind of hanging out, um, I stopped, it was called a, uh, the Comfort Inn and Suites. I just pulled in there, it was during the day, during the day. <laughs> and I, I was just back there resting and I was resting my head. I came back in, in this area, my living, my living room area. And it was like a half hour later. And I had the lit, I had the limbo, limo tinting on. And of course my front windows I covered. I could see him out there and I could see him here. And I was just sitting there laughing like, you, I don't have to answer my door if I don't want to. This is a, it's a parking lot, so what? You know what? They would not give up. They just kept knocking over and over and over and over. I could hear him talking. Well, we know somebody's in there. Hey, come on out. <laughs> Finally, I swear it was like five minutes and I was just sitting there looking at him like, wow. They are adamant that, because I wasn't doing anything wrong. So finally, oh my gosh, I would not stop. So I rolled down a little bit. I go, what? And they go, well, are you staying here? I go, no, I could have easily said, I'm going to visit a friend. Leave me alone. 
I know her name's Karen or something, you know. But finally I said, why? What am, why? Well, this is a private parking lot. I said, are you kidding me? And I said, oh, sure, I'll leave. But I said, I will never stay at your place again. So Comfort Inn and Suites, yeah, they screwed me over. But it really reminded me when I saw that headline on one of the YouTubes, they just kept knocking over and over and they would not stop. Well, I had that happen too. So that's why it might be in my title. I'm not sure. <laughs> it might be. They just kept knocking. But no, police have never knocked on my door. It's very rare that a policeman will knock on your door unless something serious is going on. Um, you might stay in a, a residential area, maybe, and somebody calls. They don't want you in front of their house, which you shouldn't just park in front of their house. Park in front of a house that has maybe a wall, a high wall, <clears throat> something like that. My throat's going dry. But, um, you know, don't, don't just park right in the front of somebody's house. Um, you, you might, I mean, you're, it's okay to do it as long as you're stealthy. Don't park your class A or, you know, your class C in front. Um, but this is just a minivan and I could be visiting the people next door or whatever. So, uh, they might knock on your door to say, is everything okay? We're doing a wellness check because somebody called. Well, you know, it's probably the neighbor and they probably thought they're trying to get rid of you. Okay. So. I've never had that happen. Now, w one last answer to a question. One of you said, isn't it illegal to have limo tinting on your windows? No. Well, <laughs> it is to have them on your windshield and your two side, your front side windows, but I've got limo tinting on the rest of my windows. No, there's no nothing illegal about that. And you can't see in unless it's at night and you got some lights on. Yeah, they can see a little bit. And especially if they put their face right up to your window. So, so that's that, everybody. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. Hey, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And share this. If somebody, if you want to share this video with your family, with your friends, please let's get these, this, these videos out. Because people, once they discover that I'm here, <laughs> then they can go through my other videos. And please, if you're new, go down. I've got a lot of instructions and I've got a lot of fun stuff and funny stuff. You know, so one of you said, you are so funny. My last video, um, I did a couple of little skits of John Bellucci. You know, I'm a, I'm a fan of the earlier Saturday Night Lives. Oh, sure. But I've, I've kept up with Saturday Night Live all the way through. I know all the different um, the cast members as they went through dec decades and decades. I'm a huge fan of Saturday Night Live. Do I watch it on Saturday night? No. What I do is I wait for the little snippets to come out. And um, once I start watching Saturday Night Live little clips um, from their channel, then what they do is they, they, they really start feeding them through and then I, oh, but every once in a while I stop and then I have to go find them and then they'll start running them through. So, um, but I have some more funny stuff. I want to, um, do some, just little clip. It's of fun stuff because I think it's fun. I love to laugh and I think you do too. We all need to laugh just a little bit. Um, I might not be, I might be so ridiculous that I'm funny. <laughs> I might not be funny, you know, but I, if I try to, um, do my best and you think, Oh, that was a fail. You can still laugh. You can laugh at me. I don't care. Um, I really don't care. Um, I'm not too proud. Ain't too proud. So, um, go to minivan Lee. I don't have a neck gaiter on today, but, um, I do have neck gaiters and I have the big sunglasses and I've got the exercise videos and I got the book on Amazon, how to live in a minivan, the minivan Lee way. And I think that's probably about it. I love you guys. I love that you like to spend time with me and I like to spend time with you. I need some sleep. Say prayer for me that I can get to sleep. Maybe take a nap later on today, right? <laughs> get some shut eye. Um, 
So, bye everybody. Mm -hmm. Love you. Mm-hmm.